But we have not done a cooking show for uh, a little while. I, yeah. And Month. we're celebrating our 140th episode today. That's right. So I thought we have to do something really decadent for mm. this. So we celebrated my birthday in Miami, mm -hmm. my big 65th birthday. You didn't have to tell everybody that. I know, that. it's I more gonna, like my 50th. I was going to say 50th. It was, yeah. a, it was a special one. It was 50th or something close to that anyway. But they brought out, it was kind of like your surprise in the restaurant surprise, brought out this, this wonderful decadent molten lava cake. And I had had that years ago when our friend Kathy Bidorf mm -hmm. had us over for dinner yeah. and we made right. this cake. So I thought that would be the most awesome cake to do for this special 140th yeah. episode. Yeah. So it's fairly easy, as Kathy would say. So we are just going Every, to start. Everything always is easy. I it's, know. It always looks that way, but the challenge, this is going to be a challenge at it's, the end. We're going to see to how this goes. Out of the cups, but I'm getting way ahead of the way game ahead. here. So let's start. Okay. One cup of chocolate chips. I went online and the whole stick, uh, the whole stick, and you can cut that cut into in like one and a half, you know, inch pieces as you um, oh, okay. put it in there. Um, but I went online to get different recipes because I have been trying this a few different times. The very first time I made this, it turned out perfect. The the very first one. Mm -hmm. um, since then, I've had a couple of issues. But I'm trying to rectify that by doing some reading. Okay, okay. Gary's going to put this in the microwave on high for one minute. Okay, you, you continue. So, some, some ways of kind of rectifying some of the issues that I had. I, um, you can come on back over here if you oh, want. Oh, you want me back in the yeah. picture? I um, can do this. Was, was just some of the techniques that I use. While we're waiting for that to melt, I'm going to have Gary um, butter very generously four different ramekin cups. And okay. now you can use a variety of different cups. These are eight ounce cups. These are friend Kathy's cups. And these are a little bit easier to get out, I'm hoping. There's fluted cups, which are very okay. pretty cups. You know, that more, you could better use. have a better chance of maybe sticking it, to it the could. side. Yeah, exactly. Smoother, maybe better. And then we have just some other cups. And you want all of your cups to be able to go into the oven at at least 400 or 450 degrees, depending okay. on what recipe you okay. use. And the recipe that we're using, it's at 400 degrees. So very, very generously grease. Really or, get the butter. butter. Really I'm go get grab the butter. The you chips. grab that. Yeah, and we have. We have worked on this, as we said earlier in the show. It's quite challenging sometimes to, to remove the finished product out of these cups. So you want to put lots of butter on, and then we're going to lightly flour, flour the cups as well. You're going to take your whisk and just whisk the melted chocolate and butter. Some of the recipes, if you go online, they'll have much richer, uh, more expensive chocolate. Mm -hmm. Some of the, the chocolate that you're going to use is going to be um, blocks of chocolate or different things okay. that you're actually going to chop up. Mm -hmm. But this recipe, pretty just, simple. Just, just chocolate chips? Semi-sweet chocolate chips, one cup. Okay. okay, and now Gary is going to lightly dust each of those dishes with flour. Yeah, this is always a challenge for me too. And that was one of, of the little um, things that I also learned was using flour and the original recipe does not call for flour. So while he's doing this, I'm going to add a cup of powdered sugar. Bring these over here. So we're going to flour these just like you would flour cake pans. Yes. So just dump in your powdered sugar. And just to get rid of... Sorry, we're making a lot of noise, but... Sometimes Continue dumping, dumping that to out. whisk. This is going to get really stiff. Just keep whisking it. And I'm actually going to take your knife here and just get this out of the whisk. And then to this, we're going to add three. Sorry. Okay, <laughs> three whole eggs. Okay. And then one egg yolk. Why we do that? I don't know. We're just following You're the recipe. You're following the recipe. You know, they've done testing in <laughs> test kitchens. Excuse me. And we have been a test kitchen sometimes, too. Yeah. Okay. And you As do a it over little, and over. little trick, you just 
hit one of your eggs with the other. Throw that in our, our bowl there. And we're putting all the eggs in at the same time. This is getting good. quite complicated here. Is you it got, getting kind of messy? Well, yeah, messy. We've got the camera going back and forth. And, and then one egg yolk. How are you doing, dear? And, I got my cups done. I'm doing awesome. And you, you should have your ingredients at room temperature, too. So we're going to put the yolk in, not the white. But don't throw your white away, because I actually freeze white, egg whites. And when I make my white wedding cake recipe, mm -hmm. you only use whites. Oh, that's right. So sometimes I then have an issue with having all of these egg yolks. When, and I think I've made the sunshine cake. And the egg yolks. You maybe have I made that sunshine. on our show? I can't remember. I don't think we made that on the show. Okay, so we're just maybe, going huh? to keep mixing this until it's nice and smooth. But you can come back to that egg white. And if you only have one egg white, you could even make a little meringue out of it. Mm -hmm. Okay, four tablespoons of flour and then a half a teaspoon of vanilla. And then we're just going to keep whisking until it's nice and smooth. And again, as I, as I told you, I found some other recipes that are much more labor intensive, that you use your mixer and you have to get your eggs and sugar all foamy and, and all of that. And then there's, um, different, there's different temperatures in right. the oven too. Right? Exactly. Okay, so Gary has our dishes all prepared. Let's hope so that they're gonna... properly dusted and buttered. And you can make these in advance. So another little issue that I think I might have had was I had, had made these and we took them down to Madison to share with, with um, Megan and Paul. But I, I didn't, well, that was a little messy, but I didn't Not bring them out of, the, of, or out of the refrigerator to, uh, to room temperature. So I think that might have been why they didn't come out of their little dishes as well. You want it, them at room temperature. You they do. were a little too, too cool. Too, they too were cool. too chilled yep, coming exactly. out of the refrigerator. So in other words, the trick to get them out after they're finished baking is to have the batter at room temperature. Right. I, I think that's one of them anyway. So that's what I'm going to go with. We're so. going to go with that. And I think somebody posted that as well Didn't, on one yeah, of the recipes. Exactly. Some... Yeah. Okay. So you want to try to have these divided up. And now these, as I said, are, I think, eight inch bowls. You can eight use, ounce. I mean, I'm sorry, eight ounce yeah. bowls. Mm -hmm. You can use six, six ounce. If you use four ounce, then you're also going to not bake them as long, okay, you know, because so. of the diameter. Exactly. Not, not as much to bake. Okay. Right. Okay. Let me wipe these up so they don't burn too All much right. on the outside. Okay. And then we are going to put them on a cookie sheet to go into the oven. And these are going to bake at 400 degrees for 13 to 16 minutes. So there is a little bit of, of uh, a leeway in how you bake them. And I think another little issue we had with baking them at Megan and Paul's was that theirs was also a convection right. oven, and for whatever reason, it, they yeah. didn't turn out very well. So obviously what we're talking about is <clears throat> time and temperature is critical in exactly. this process. Because when they're done, you're going to have like a cake look on the top in the sides but it's in the sides but right in the middle it's still going to be soft enough and that's going to be yeah, your the lava exactly so i'm just going to set these aside for a okay. minute all right so here is the uh the miracle what do we call that the mysterious dessert that's already baked here yes and as you can see this is a, a Another different, um, different dish, dish that we use. Dish. So this is also an eight ounce ramekin. Mm -hmm. Don't touch; they're very hot. Okay, we're no. going to let them set up for like two to three minutes. Okay, okay. 
We're gonna let them set. We're just gonna watch them crack. Okay, so as you can see, you know, Maybe. they're they're you know like cake-like around the outside, but you can see that they're still like a little bit soft mm -hmm. in the middle. And that's so we're the good hoping stuff. that that's going to to be the trick this time. So two minutes, you let them sit. So about two to three minutes, and then I, I'm going to go around okay. the outside a little bit. Oh, All right. but did you want a did you want a thinner blade knife? No, that's going to be fine because okay. while we're waiting for this, we're going to have a little bit of a garnish um, okay. to Let's... kind of decorate your plate. So you can do. Can different... I do the Can I do the caramel? Sure. So you can do different things if you'd like. Um, some recipes say that you can do caramel, so you can just drizzle caramel. Um, you can also drizzle chocolate, and this is actually a peppermint chocolate. So just take your spoon, and you can just drizzle like that. Gary says he prefers to not, did you say you yeah, prefer to not have not the caramel? Not have the caramel, but I'm not sure why. I think yeah. it's probably, probably because there's not enough of it you to taste. You know what we're gonna do? And it's then more we're for also, looks. We're also just going to do chocolate and caramel. Here we go. Do it together. Okay. Oh, I have one more to do over here. And this is a, like a topping that I have actually used for cheesecakes, or you can use it for ice cream. If you have some kind of a ganache, you can can use that too. Okay. All right. Okay. Here's the moment. This, this is the moment. This is what we've been waiting for. So I'm just going to go around a little bit here. And you know when when they haven't popped out very well, they're still amazing, you know? I mean, if the... We had guests here last Friday night at our house and we tried this, and they kind of like the tops, they, the, after we flipped it, it like cracked open at the top. I guess that's what sometimes volcanoes do right. anyway. They crack right. open at the top and, and the lava was just all over the plate, but it is delish, no matter how it looks. And I feel very badly that Brett, our videographer, wasn't here for a, a wonderful out tape take. So one of them that I, I tried to do fell out of my hand. It went all over the floor. It was a horrible disaster. Would have been the best out take ever. Okay, so with hopefully not burning myself, we're going to flip it. Oh, I think it came out. I think it came out. Now this is the key. Oh, perfect. This is not an over dramatization, folks. This is a miracle. Oh, and then I, I have. Look at that. I okay. have this little tweezers, tongs that you wrap. That, that I wrapped in, in um, just paper. And then I put some rubber bands on there. And that was just another that trick. That was in case you need. Yeah, you can do it that way another too. Another little trick, okay. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I think it's the videographers that, that are here. <laughs> I think so. And they are. It's our, it's our good luck. Good luck charm. I cannot believe this. Oh, believe it. Oh, oh. turned out You need to perfect. believe it. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. So then you can just <laughs> garnish with a little bit of powdered sugar. Or, and then we're going to put a scoop of ice cream on the side. I'm not going to ice cream all of it. Just one? You can ice cream that one, and then you can then put on this one, we're going to just put some ice cream on top. Okay. Because okay? Right. you can garnish you can it different it. ways. You can do it either way. Okay. All right. This is so no. exciting. I mean, I am just unbelievably excited. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, okay now. You thought you were gonna have to do this shoot all I over did, again, didn't you? I did. <laughs> so now for the real taste. Here we go. So when they turn out right, this is a molten lava cake. So you're going to dig in. You cut into it and... The lava flows out. There's your lava, folks.
Mm. So amazing. That is perfect. Yeah, perfect. Look at that. Oh, man. I think we finally... Did it, honey. We did. Well, they say third time's a charm? I guess. So maybe it was the one being the 140th episode that did that it. That could have been. Could be it. Yeah. Could be. Mm -hmm. So right now we're thinking that we might be taking a little bit of a break okay. from our, our cooking show yeah. because we've been really busy with Eleanor and, mm -hmm. and our videographers are very busy because they, they like to go to Door County a lot and uh -huh. do in summertime. <laughs> you know how that goes. You don't want to be working all the time. No, that's so, right. So, um, But we're hoping in, we're gonna, in the future we're going to do yeah. some future episodes. We'll have more episodes. And yeah. we might be down at Eleanor's house and you might say, hey... I'm going to get out my camera and see if I can do a little YouTube shoot. And do that, too. And get our little Eleanor maybe in there, pull yeah. up a little step stool, and have her get on get on a stool so she can... How fun would get, that wouldn't be? Wouldn't that be fun? Yeah. Yeah. So we can so, do that, too. after 140 episodes of Cooking with Ruth and Gary, I hope you, you enjoyed this most amazing show today that we presented. So until next time, happy cooking. <laughs> <laughs>